How's it going guys, Max here. So, Samsung and Xiaomi are having a huge battle in India. So, let's dive in. So, when you want to talk about target audience for every smartphone company, you have to talk about China and India. And today we are talking about India and the fierce battle between Samsung and Xiaomi. Firstly, Samsung used to be the biggest smartphone company in India, so much that they were dominating the Indian market for some years. But you see, in India, this is not a country that um, actually holds on to one smartphone company like US with Apple. Instead, they are looking for the smartphone with the best value for specs ratio. And that's where Xiaomi comes into play. Xiaomi is one of the best when it comes to value for specs. So much so that they make an average of only $2 on every budget smartphone sold. Wow. So when they came over to India, it was just a matter of time before they would dethrone Samsung. So Xiaomi started doing what they do best. They started having Xiaomi events to get fans engaged. They started releasing Indian only phones. They started releasing phones with great specs for a mind blowing price like the Poco X3 NFC. And did it work? Yes, in 2019, Xiaomi shipped more phones than Samsung in India for the first time in history, to the point where by reaching Q1 of 2020, 30% of smartphones in India were all Xiaomi phones. And with that, Xiaomi actually had the majority with 30% of Indian smartphone market share as opposed to the 16% that Samsung had at the time. Not just that, Xiaomi is actually making more money with their services like how on their budget phones, ads usually pop up and though you can disable this feature in the settings, it's not something to be but a good number of people that don't actually care about it will be giving Xiaomi a great chance to make a lot of money. So Samsung had to do something about it and uh, they said focusing more on India which by the end of 2020, they had a 1% lead over Xiaomi, that's just 1%. But Xiaomi didn't stop since, I mean, they already made their presence felt. And that brings us to this year. In the first month of 2021, Xiaomi had already announced two Indian-only phones that were great but with the same value for specs ratio in mind. But Samsung took the value for specs ratio to another level when they released their Galaxy F62. The phone is great mainly because it has the same flagship Exynos 9825 chipset that was used in the Galaxy Note 10 series and the phone costs just around $350. So you see where this is going right? Samsung putting a flagship chipset in a mid-range phone is just to allow more people to have the flagship speed when using a smartphone that they can all afford which in essence will make them ditch all the Xiaomi mid-range and budget phones that do not have any flagship chipsets in them just so that they can experience the phone and have that sort of flagship feeling. So yes, that's actually my rundown of the Samsung vs Xiaomi in India right now. And if you're from India, I would actually like to hear what you have to say about this in the comment section. Subscribe for daily tech videos and I'll see you next time.